Hi there. Welcome to another pathophysiology video. So easy here and today I'm going to talk to you about chronic kidney disease. Before we get started, let's find out what you already know. So which of these is produced by the kidneys? Insulin, erythropoietin, thyroxin or FSH? Feel free to pause this video and take a moment to think about the answer. And the answer is B, erythropoietin, which is important for red blood cell production. Next question. What does GFR stand for? Is it glucose fixation rate? Glomerular fixation rate? Glucose filtration rate? Or glomerular filtration rate? The answer is D. It estimates how much blood passes through the glomerulus per minute. And finally, how many stages of CKD are there? Two, four, five, or one? The answer is five. You've got stages one, two, three A, three B, four and five. Don't worry if you didn't know the answers to these questions because we're gonna go through them again at the end of the video. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at what CKD is, some of the symptoms, the pathophysiology and some of the causes, important investigations to think about when diagnosing CKD, and we'll have a little look at those questions again. So what is CKD? Well, it's a long-term condition where the kidneys don't function properly. And as you can see on the right, there's five stages. So G1 to G5 is related to the GFR, while A1 to A3 is related to the level of proteins in the urine, such as albumin. And as you can see, the higher the staging, the worse of the disease. In terms of criteria, this needs to be for at least three months. And this would include a GFR of less than 60 and or any markers of kidney damage, so things like albumin urea, urinary sediment abnormalities, any tubular disorders that causes any electrolyte or other abnormalities, any abnormalities seen on histology, any structural abnormalities, or any history of kidney transplantation. And it's important to remember that when you reach a GFR of less than 15%, this is known as end-stage kidney disease, so this is very bad. So what are the symptoms of CKD? So in the early stages, CKD tends to be asymptomatic, and it's usually detected on screening. However, in the later stages, you tend to get all kinds of symptoms, as you can see on the right. And this includes things like tiredness, swollen ankles, hands or feet, any sort of shortness of breath, any vomiting, maybe any hematuria as well. Pathophysiology of CKD? Well, you get an irreversible loss of nephrons, and that therefore leads to a loss of the normal kidney functions, such as excretion of metabolites, drugs and toxins, homeostasis, which is the water and electrolyte balance, endocrine secretion of things like renin, which is secreted by the juxtaglomerular cells and is important in the RAS system for blood pressure regulation, erythropoietin, which is secreted by the endothelial cells, which is important for red blood cell production, and endocrine metabolism as well of things like vitamin D, which is important for your bones and prevents diseases like rickets or osteomalacia. And overall, this leads to a toxic buildup of waste products in the body, and that's why you get a variety of symptoms in CKD. So what are some of the causes of CKD? Well, important ones to think about are things like diabetes, 
glomerulonephritis, hypertension or renovascular disease. Others include things like tubular interstitial nephritis, any sort of urological obstructions or renal stones, and autoimmune conditions like systemic lupus erythematosus or vasculitis. So important investigations to think about for CKD. So you want to look at your bloods, especially the creatinine levels. You want to look at the EGFR, see if it's less than 60. A urinalysis to see if there's any albumin or proteins in the u- urine. A kidney ultrasound, so you can assess the size of the kidneys, the cortex, any cysts and possibly a kidney biopsy for microscopic analysis. And all of these are involved in diagnosing as well as staging CKD. And that's it. So let's have another look at those questions. So which of these is produced by the kidneys, insulin, erythropoietin, thyroxin, or FSH? And the answer is erythropoietin. And this is secreted by the endothelial cells and is important for red blood cell production. And what does GFR stand for? Glucose fixation rate, glomerular fixation rate, glucose filtration rate, or glomerular filtration rate. I hope you remember that it's glomerular filtration rate. And this estimates how much blood passes through the glomerulus per minute. And finally, how many stages of CKD are there? Two, four, five, or one? The answer is five. You've got stages one, two, three A, three B, four, and five. And that concludes this pathophysiology video of CKD. Thanks very much for checking it out, and I hope it was helpful. Take care now.